Hi guys, it's Sophia. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. I'm back really quick to share a quick little project that I created for a challenge giveaway that's being hosted by Michelle. She is Paper Dreams and Things on Instagram and I believe on YouTube as well. So she's having a challenge giveaway where you just have to create one memory dex card and send that in. So I thought that was just really easy, um, not too much involved. So. I decided um, to go ahead and create something to enter and I love the way that this turned out. It was really fun. So she did ask that the memory dex card measure 4 by 6 inches. So I cut the base at 4 by 5 inches I believe and then this little ghost sticking out at the top pretty much makes it 6 inches. And I embossed the back cardstock with the spider web embossing folder. Um, added this little handmade by tag that I made up after seeing Sherrod Crane's really cute Halloween um, labels, personalized labels. So here's the front. I used uh, pastel Halloween colors and this is a paper collection from Michaels from this year. Um, I did some stitching with black thread around the edge. Here's some enamel dots in black. This little mesh trim. And I used a Sizzix Bigs die to cut the ghosts out and use both of the ghosts. That It cuts out a larger one and a smaller one, so I used them both. And um, then this little perfume bottle here I made into a shaker. And that's using a die from AliExpress. This Boo is also using a die from AliExpress. And um, I popped up the perfume bottle on pink foam, which I thought was really cute for the pastel colors. And then the Boo I did in white because I thought it went with the, with the ghost that was so close to it. So I did that in white foam. And shout out to Erica for sharing how she does that. And... Um, it, it is a little extra step, but I love the way that looks and the dimension that it gives it. And um, so yeah, then I just added um, a few more embellishments. There's a little spider back here that's kind of covered up. Another little die cut. Um, this little bow uh, with some ribbon that I had that has little spiders. Um, flat back pearls and gems. These little stars are from this year from Dollar Tree. And then the little bows are also from Dollar Tree in um, their nail section. And then I added a, a little charm to the little ghost hand, and I thought that was super cute. Um, and then I love this little purple glass bead. I felt like it looked like he was holding like a little purple lantern in his hand to light his way, so I thought that was cute. Added this little skull charm and a little bow to the skull, and a little handmade uh, vellum tassel that I made. So there's my memory dex card. I thought it turned out really cute. I'm loving the the pastel colors. And then I'm just going to share the, the way I decorated a few more little things that I'm sending just because I think it looks cute all together. So this one I just um, used some coordinating pastel Halloween colors and some die cuts and added this to a little vellum bag that has some other little goodies for her. And then I um, decorated up really quick and simple a uh, bag topper for some other little die cuts I'm sending in and I just added some more black thread stitching on the topper uh, some twine this little sticker from one of the dollar stores that says eek and this little spider is loose um, so she can reuse him I uh, just held on with this little clip here clothespin and then I used my Nuvo uh, drops in black and pink to add a little bit more so that's it guys this is um, my little entry so I hope that you um, enjoyed taking a look let me know what you guys think and I will link all of um, the information for the challenge giveaway in the description box in case you want to check it out and enter um, I believe you have until October 21st is the cutoff and um, she made some really fun handmade goodies and other um, items that she's giving away. So, yeah. So, um, hope you check it out. And um, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.